New tonight, the Tennessee State Senate passed a bill targeting drag performances in public spaces. Knox Pride is now saying that if that bill becomes law, it will force the cancellation of the Knox Pride Festival, a gathering drawing thousands of people to downtown every year. Tenders reporter Caitlin Keenahan spoke to supporters of the bill about their motivation and why critics say it places a muzzle on free expression. Heated discussions at the Capitol ended in a 26 to 6 vote in favor of Senate Bill 3. Senate Bill 3 would clear up confusion that exists in the law relative to adult oriented performances and specify that they may only be held in age restricted venues. Proposed by Senate Majority Leader Jack Johnson, the bill to end public all age drag shows is one step closer to becoming reality. Senate Bill 3, having received a constitutional majority, is, is adopted. Now in the hands of the House, some Democrats like Gloria Johnson plan to vote no. If you don't want to go to a drag show, you don't have to. So how likely is this bill to pass in the House? It's probably going to pass because this MAGA supermajority up here <clears throat> listens to the loudest few. Nothing new, unfortunately, in Tennessee. The slate of hate is a normal thing that we're used to every year. John Camp, the CEO of Knox Pride, says if this bill becomes law, Knoxville's Pride Festival will be canceled. Pride Fest 2022, we had 75,000 attendees over three days at World Square Park. We had 125 entertainers, and about 100 of those were drag performers. But on the Senate floor, Johnson said public Pride events could still happen. By the way, they can have the event. They can have any event they want to, but if it's going to meet that standard of harmful to a minor that's been in our code for many years, just don't let the kids in. In Knoxville, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. We did reach out to Senate Majority Leader Jack Johnson for an interview and plan to bring you his thoughts in an interview on Monday. A similar bill, again, must pass the House. It does go before the Criminal Justice Committee Tuesday, and leading Republicans in control of both chambers do expect the bill to become law before summer.